this year's been difficult for me, and I think for everybody for a lot of different reasons. COVID, the earthquake, um, cut my hair, <laughs> and trying to process everything with a lot of the contention and fighting and things that have been going on around me. Normally how I would process through that is I would escape through painting and really get into that contemplative space where everything around you kind of goes away and you're just focused on what you're creating and working on. But I think this year with everything it was just too much for me. I had deadlines coming but I was finding that I wasn't able to produce what I would normally do. And then um, one afternoon I was cutting lemons on my kitchen counter and the light was coming from the kitchen window in a way that the lemons were being backlit. And so the light was filtering in through and the backside of the lemon in shadows was just beautiful. Normally when I set up a still light painting, I think I just position it naturally that the, the light source was coming from the front. I, I guess I normally paint the lighter side of things. It really flipped it on its head for me to paint the shadows. I started painting a bunch of lemons. I lovingly call them my COVID lemons. Normally I would paint a lot of outdoor landscapes and a lot of gray clouds and a lot of more movie paintings. And painting lemons has been really cathartic for me. I, I think as all of us process this year and some of the things that we've gone through, um, I hope we're able to take a step and maybe come down to the gallery and, and get out and find that contemplative place where you find peace and are able to kind of block out the noise and the chaos and the, the, the world around you. That's what art does for me and that's what these lemons have done for me. So I hope um, you're able to come and take a look at the show. Of course, there's still some of my traditional landscapes as you re would recognize me, but maybe, maybe come and pick up a COVID lemon. A lot of my more traditional work of what I'm, I'm used to doing is landscapes. I really like a oversimplified version of a landscape, just really breaking it down to the light hitting the overall big space. There's not a whole lot of detail, usually just really the essence of a landscape. I kind of process this year a little bit different, and so another thing you'll notice with this year is I'm adding some bright blue. I feel like I needed a few more sunny days this year than normal, along with some of the cloudy days though. Generally when, I, when I'm painting, I get into that contemplative, like I was saying, that, that place where everything else kind of melts away. And usually I'm just playing with the color and the shape and creating a space. I really like the juxtaposition of how peaceful and calm I am. And at the same time, I'm painting storms and getting storms. That's how I process a lot of my emotion and a lot of just the world around me. I, I tend to just like the calmer colors anyway, those gray days. I love a gray stormy day. It makes me really just pull inside and as soon as it starts raining, I'm out there with my camera and it's just gives me a lot to pull from later. Also, I notice that whenever I'm driving or watching TV, whatever it is that I'm being bombarded with images, I find myself kind of painting them in my head and really processing that. And so some of my work comes from photographs, but a lot of it just comes from my head. I feel like we take in so much and it's just a way of processing some of that and getting it out through a more visual form. I'm starting to do more and more of my smaller work on board instead of behind glass. I, I like the format of them being more acceptable to people and not with the barrier of the glass. And because they're traditional watercolor, watercolors, I feel like this had been pushed behind glass for so long that part of the reason I love this medium that I work in is that I'm pushing those boundaries of getting watercolor out from behind things and kind of breaking that barrier. I also really like the intimacy of a small painting. 
that's why I work with the little ones so much. I really like that it forces the viewer to come and be in the same place that I was when I painted it and get up close to see all that it has to offer. And so I go back and forth. I really, I mean, I love a big painting, but there's also just that intimacy of a small painting that there's a lot to offer. So let me tell you a little bit about my process. From the time I was really little, I enjoyed watercolors. I think I was four or five when my grandma gave me a set of watercolors, watercolor pencils. And I just remember sticking them in the water. I, like, I'm sure that's not how you're supposed to do it, but I remember I had a cup and I stuck it in the water and I just loved watching the pencil as it reacted with the water to start to dissolve and make beautiful shapes. And from then on, I was hooked. I've been a watercolorist all through high school and college. It just, it's the medium that I enjoy working with the most. But with that, I felt watercolor kind of gets put in, in a box of watercolors and they're smaller on smaller paper. And so I'm trying to really push the boundaries of, of what we do with watercolors and make them bigger and get them more accessible to a viewer out from behind the glass or the barrier. So a lot of my work has to be fixed. So I put a spray fix over them when they are finished. But up until that point, because they are watercolor, you're able to really play with the medium. You can almost completely erase it, which is really unusual for watercolor. So what I would normally do for a painting like this is I would paint the sky and get kind of an idea of where the ground would be. And then I'm able to come back with water and lift out the white areas. And so with normal traditional watercolor, you have to kind of keep those white sacred and you have to paint around them. But with doing a retractive process, I'm able to paint the whites without painting around everything. And I really enjoy that. It also makes the process of watercolor more enjoyable because I'm not so worried about if I make a mistake or if it's not quite right or not going in the right direction, I'm not married to it. Where on um, normal watercolor, if you get one shot, it's there and, and you're good. This allows me to, to work things out a little bit longer. Not too long, it's still watercolor and it's finicky and so it will stain and it will bleed and it will run all over and do everything that watercolors do. And it does allow me to find a little bit more control with watercolor and I enjoy that process of having things that are there and then you're able to pull them back out and just really push and play with the, the medium. So I hope you can get a chance to come down and see the show in person. We are keeping the number of people down so it can come in at a time to 10 and we ask that you do please wear a mask. Um, so we can keep everybody safe and healthy. And then the show will hang until September 11th, so if you do get a chance to come down, I hope you can. But if not, it will. we will put the images online, and you can always look at them that way and just enjoy the show. Thank you.